Hello guys, kumusta? I am Colleen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for checking this out again. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications for my new videos. Anyway, this is the part two of my single kapapa because vlog. It was too long when I was editing last week. No more work is gone. Cry. And my mom was like, what happened? And she was like, just breathe. So yeah, that's my drama. I have to start again. And you saw my little mental breakdown when Adobe betrayed me. <laughs> Need to look after our mental health too. <laughs> we heard mom's thoughts about singleness and dating last time. And today, I just want to share my learning points and thoughts in this season of singleness. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. do when you're single especially valentine's day when everyone around you is just too cheesy Bruh. and doing all romantic things <laughs> <laughs> for me hanging out with a friend hopefully you have friends i think it's not all about romance you can still have fun without being with someone you know so this is what i did on valentine's day you know you're in a filipino household when <laughs> no plastic pa ang grido pan ni mama. Halos lahat ng pans namin. Naka plastic pa. So, maingat na maingat si mama. She's very protective. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try to be careful using this pan. <laughs> A day where they're putting pressure in singles too. <laughs> like they said it's single awareness day. Like it's sad day. Even in China we have like 
oh, yeah, you said all day like and we will go crazy with shopping that's the day when it's like our black friday see i think on valentine's day if i'm single i treat myself yeah definitely they should treat themselves they shouldn't wait for anyone to treat them because you are a queen <laughs> When I was single, like I always spent it with my girlfriends, like all the time. I think friends are quite important, so like, you know. Definitely, friends are very important. Yeah, like they help you with a lot of stuff. Mhm. Mm Bye. 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 Good night. Love you. Bye. Bye. Now, you might be thinking, what if all my friends are dating? Find something to do. Treat yourself. What do we treat ourselves to? Clothes. Treat yourself. Fragrances. Treat yourself. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The best, best day of the year! <laughs> do something that makes you feel good, feel refreshed, you know, not necessarily cost money. Just find something to do. You can FaceTime a friend or have a bath. Baka kailangan mo lang iligo ang lungkot mo, best. Kain ka ng ice cream. Manood ka ng shows na gusto mo panoorin dati. Just Netflix and chill by yourself. Bruh. I don't know, anything. Anything that makes you feel happy. Pero ito kasi, lumaki tayo na napapanood sa mga pelikula na they show that you need someone to complete you. Alam mo yun, yung mga script, you complete me. That's a lie. The lies! There you the go, lies, there bitch! The lies! Two halves is a disaster <laughs> if you put so much hope in one person like everything if they leave paano ka na? ano na naiwan sa'yo? uy para may hugot siya <laughs> <laughs> may hugot si ate girl kung gusto niyo pag-usapan ang um, pagiging sawi sa pag-ibig tell me in the comments i'm gonna make a vlog for you <laughs> and to those who were heartbroken before it's your time to subscribe <laughs> and like and comment and you never know, you might meet someone in the comment section. But in all seriousness though, you need to be whole and happy and content with yourself, with who you are, by yourself. You should love your own company because if you don't, then how can you expect that it's going to be better when someone is there already? If you don't like your own company, then how can you be a good company to someone? Does that make sense? Here's what I've been learning in my single season as a single lady. <laughs> I haven't figured it all out, but these are my thoughts. I think these are helpful for people who are in a different season to you, who is in a relationship. Maybe different dynamic, but I think these are helpful. Or maybe you're learning it too. But yeah, here are my thoughts. Invest in yourself. Learn a new language or a skill or travel. Do something that you're passionate about. In my case, after university, I did a leap of faith to go to America to do an internship with Elevation Church. Bye, parents. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, parents. Bye, mom. Bye, Bye Nat. Take care. We love you. <laughs> Look how like the like how they first come out. What's the white ones? <laughs> They're not white. That's the. <laughs>
the Lord for a car because that's my job today. That was the best thing I've ever done. That's the best decision I could have made. I didn't know how I did it. It's just God, like literally it was a miracle. All the process and going there and all. And I learned so much and met amazing people from different backgrounds. And it felt like I have a new family who's living in the other side of the world again. Not so just Philippines, but also America. Learn who you are. I'm not saying you should be self-centered or selfish, but this is the best time to learn more about yourself. Learn what you like or what you don't, your strengths, what you're good at, or your weaknesses, what irritates you. For me, I learned that I can do anything that I put my mind into with God's grace. I can be independent and learn that I can drive on the other side of the road. I can go to martial arts classes full of men, sweaty men. <laughs> I can travel alone. I can do so much things and I learn or I am learning that I can be someone like a friend who shows up when someone needs them, like a good daughter, favorite. <laughs> I can be a difference in someone's life, big or small. Number three, plug into a community whether that's church community or your circle of friends surround yourself with people who sees the best in you and pushes you to your best potential people who are there for you like for me i'm so so grateful for my friends my church community who have been there they've been there to cry with me and to celebrate with me and to pray for me. They push me to be the best I can be and they inspire me to do better. Sometimes I get too hard on myself and they'll be like, you're being too hard on yourself. <laughs> Find someone who's like that. Someone who can tell you to just stop and just have fun. Four, work on your issues. This is heavy. This is heavy, guys. <laughs> like insecurities or unforgiveness or trust issues, what else? Anything you're struggling with, unhealthy boundaries, learn how to say no, acknowledge them and work on them. Learn how to zip it. You don't have to say everything that comes in your mind. These are easy to say. And like I said from the beginning, I haven't figured it all out. I'm still working on that. Pero mahirap gawin. It takes time. At least for me, that's why I see. Kailangan kong harapin yung mga issues ko. Kasi, how can I work on them if I don't even recognize that they are there? So be aware of your issues and work on them. Alam mo yun, hindi mo makikita yung isang bagay kung nasa madilim. And I don't think the issues will go away once you get with someone or get married. I think relationship with someone will just heighten or your issues will be be magnified even more or be evident your junk just comes out the junk that you don't even know that's there so it's constant we have to heal and work on our issues five accept that you are enough even without someone you have so much in you you have talents and gifts that you can develop even more you are beautiful, you are awesome, you are smart and hardworking. You're the real deal! Have that confidence. That's attractive, you know? Having that energy, owning that you've got it, that's confidence and it's attractive. But this is also easy to say, at least now, it's easy to say for me because I struggled with this a lot for a long time. I think growing up, I had an inferiority complex. <laughs> I had such low self-esteem. You know, I didn't feel pretty enough or smart enough. I had braces and I had acne problems. I remember my mom taking me to a dermatologist, I don't know, when I was 12, because my skin is bad. And it was gone and then a few years ago, it was like acne, like cystic acne. I broke out and it was bad. I might do a vlog about that just for people who are struggling with skin. I feel you. 
But yeah, accept that you are enough even without someone. You are incredibly awesome. Remember that. Six. Oh, this is a good one. Enjoy the season you are in. Things will always fall into the right places in the right time. We just have to be patient. If you know me <laughs> personally, I think my parents know that too. I am impatient. So this is a struggle like waiting for someone that will come along and match your energy. But when I say waiting, I don't mean it to be passive. When you wait, you have work to do. Like I said earlier, you work on yourself while you're single. So I just feel like when you do that, you'll enjoy the relationship more with someone, right? I don't know. Tell me, married people. And last one, be whole. Heal properly. Be whole. Because if you are relying to someone who can complete you, that's just too much pressure on a human being. Trust me. <laughs> I learned the hard way. You know, I've been hearing this all my life saying like, you have to be whole before you're with someone. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it happened to me and boom, that was damaging. <laughs> but there was a beauty of that too. No one could ever fill your void. No human can do that. Even if they might be the best person in the world, they're just human and there might be always something missing. Then in that case, maybe you are looking for something supernatural to fill you. And that's God. Saying that, for me, it's not even finding someone anymore. It's more of who am I becoming in this season? Who am I becoming in this season of singleness? Am I spending intentional time with my friends and family? Am I learning a new skill or mastering something that I've started? Am I being a good steward of my finances? Wag lang gastos ng gastos, credit card dito, credit card don. <laughs> How do I handle pressure? How do I handle my emotions? Especially when I'm feeling lonely. Kinakausap ko lang ba tong taong to kasi bored lang ako. So take a minute and ask yourself, who am I becoming in this season? I think this is not just for single people. It's for everyone. It's always good to evaluate yourself whatever season you are in who am i becoming in this season it's good to have a heart check now and again right sorry it is another long video looks like i had a lot to say about singleness but i am learning so much in this season anyway thanks for watching again guys make sure you subscribe like and comment i would love to get connected with you share some suggestions as well what you would like to see in my future vlogs or just say hi so talk later Ingat.